أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهدي الله فلا مضل له وما يضل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله أما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القرآن العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اعملوا فسيرى الله أملكم ورسوله والمؤمنون صدق الله العظيم All praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We glorify Him and we thank Him for his blessings and favors upon us. I testify that there is none to be worshipped but Allah. He is alone and he has no partner. And I testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and final messenger. Ibadullah, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Al-Qur'an I'malu work strive Allah and his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the believers will recognize your striving This is a good characteristic of Muslims that they always strive. And this is what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he encouraged his companions to do. He encouraged them to be enthusiastic about life to be cheerful he encouraged them to be people who are always working and accomplishing and he wanted these characteristics to be embedded in them that there are people who were making a difference they were contributing to community they were contributing to the society in which they existed. And so we often hear the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam talking about good characteristics, good morals, behavior. <laughs> But there are times when he also he told them about the opposite that you should not have these characteristics and he told them that it is imperative that you call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek refuge in him from that which does not benefit you or seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from behavior that is not or ought not to be part of your lifestyle and so Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he talked about 
inability and laziness that you need to seek refuge in Allah from the concept of inability that you cannot do well that you put yourself down and you think that you cannot accomplish anything and he told them also to seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from, from laziness don't be that person who is always in that relaxation mode that you're always thinking that there is a tomorrow and you're always procrastinating Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seek he sought refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from these detested qualities inability laziness the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he prayed and he said allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al ajzi wal kasali wal jubni wal harami wal bukhli the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam prayed and he said O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from inability to do well, from laziness, from cowardice, from feebleness, and from stinginess. And so Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not always look at uh, the good characteristics. We, we, we try to encourage and motivate people and say, be kind, be loving, be compassionate, show concern for others. And sometimes we don't use the opposite so as to make people happy and, and, and comfortable. But there are times when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he spelt it out. And he said to his companions, do not be lazy people. Do not be cowards. Don't think that you don't have the ability to do certain things in life. Always try. Strive. You make, you, 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 you make that effort, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be there to help you. He, he told his companions, we always hear about uh, give charity, be people who are generous. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he prayed and he sought refuge in Allah from being stingy, withholding. And, and we always hear about Al Mu'minul Qawi Khayrun wa Ahab wa Ahabu ilallahi min al Mu'min al Da'if. The strong believer is better and more loved by Allah than the weak believer. And so Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he sought refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from feebleness, from being weak. And so he encouraged his companions to be strong, to demonstrate strength in everything that they do, and not to be from among the weak ones. And so this is a, this is a powerful dua of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he, he, he's saying, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-ajzi wal-kasali wal-jubni 
wal harami wal bukh o allah i seek refuge in you from inability i seek refuge in you from laziness cowardice feebleness and i seek refuge in you from stinginess my dear brothers and my dear sisters we we always need to look at the fact that allah has blessed us in different ways we may not be able to do this deed but we have the ability to do another deed so don't cut yourself short in saying i can't do anything don't succumb to inability and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he also said laziness in and if this overcomes you life becomes miserable you're not able to move along with life and and when you become lazy imagine if a husband is lazy or a wife is lazy or children are lazy what that household will become imagine the, the the discomfort in the unhappiness and there being no peace of mind you always at each other's throat you are too lazy you are not doing what you are supposed to do it doesn't it's not a healthy household imagine if the members of your community they're not willing to do anything and there is that concept of laziness just lay back sit back and do nothing what happens to that community sometimes we look at people in in different parts of the world and they have their families who may be you know living a, a good life and making some money and they depend upon them and so they become lazy and don't they just sit back and wait for the the dollars to come month after month and these same people were farmers and these same people used to cut cane in the, in, 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 in the fields and these same people used to do so much but because they have become dependent upon others laziness has stepped in and so prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying that do not be such people that you are laid back and you are lazy my dear brothers and my dear sisters the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ihris ala ma yanfa'uk wasta'in billah wa la ta'jaz pursue that which will benefit you seek help only from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wala ta'jaz and do not consider yourselves powerless that you can't do anything if people look at life in that way then they will always be we are always creating tyrants and we are always creating oppressors people who will take advantage of us and so prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says wasta'in billah and seek help from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa la ta'jaz and do not consider yourself powerless once you strive allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you 
wa alaysa lil insani illa ma sa'a and man shall have nothing except that which he strives for wa anna sa'ayahu sawfa yura and his strivings will be recognized Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will certainly recognize it and so my dear brothers and my dear sisters never consider yourselves powerless strive and the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will certainly come the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said وَإِذَا أَصَابَكَ شَيْءٌ فَلَا تَقُلْ لَوْ أَنِّي فَأَلْتُ كَذَا لَكَانَ كَذَا وَلَكِنْ قُلْ قَدَرَ اللَّهُ وَمَا شَاءَ فَعَلْ فَإِنَّ لَوْ تَفْتَحُ عَمَلَ الشَّيْطَانِ the Prophet sallallahu said, and while you are striving, and while you are considering yourself that you have the power to make changes, to do things, there may be challenges, there may be obstacles, you may be faced with trials. When these things happen, do not say, you know, if I had done so and so, the result would have been so and so. But instead, say, Allah has decreed such and such. And whatever Allah decrees, whatever Allah wishes, will happen. Because if you continue to say, Lao, if I had done so and so, you open up the doors of shaitan. And then you think that you cannot do anything. Then you think, or you put yourself in that situation of uh, being powerless. And then laziness steps in. You don't want to do anything. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, if we look at the motivation in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, Sabiqu ila maghfiratim mi rabbikum wa jannatin arduha as samai wal ard. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Make haste, compete, go forth towards the forgiveness of your Lord and towards Jannah. Its wit is the wit, it's the wit of the heaven and the earth. And so motivation is, in, is there in the Quran that do not be people who are laid back. Do not be people who are lazy. You don't think you can do anything. Because Allah is encouraging us. Compete. Make haste. Strive. And we see this repeated in the Quran. In the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah also tells us in the Quran, وَفِي ذَلِكَ فَلْيَتَنَافَسِ الْمُتَنَافِسُونَ And for this, let all those strive, those who want to strive. Because there are people who will never strive. There are people who are content with the way they are. Muslims are never content with the way they are. Because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
he said in Allah katab al ihsan ala kulli shay Allah has written perfection for everything so you strive you make strivings towards perfection because whatever we are doing it is not perfect perfection is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and, and so we always challenge ourselves to acquire that perfection. And that is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said, Man istawa yawmahu fahuwa maghboon. He whose two days are equal in accomplishment, he is a sure loser. Make your today better than your yesterday and strive to make tomorrow better than today. This is what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has taught us. So let Allah is saying in the Quran, let those strive who really want to strive. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, in the Quran again, several places in the Quran, Allah reminds us that whatever you do, there is reward for it. So don't think that your actions, good actions, will go unrewarded. And that's a motivation not to stay relaxed and to just sit back, laid back. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us in the Quran, وَمَا يَفْعَلُوا مِنْ خَيْرٍ فَلَنْ يُكْفَرُوهُ وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِالْمُتَّقِينَ وَمَا تُقَدِّمُوا لِأَنفُسِكُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ تَجِدُوهُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ هُوَ خَيْرًا وَعَظَمًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying and whatever you do for yourselves you will certainly find it with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever good you do you will certainly find it with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says, you will not only find it, but you will find it better and greater in reward with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the motivation. That Allah is multiplying and Allah is granting you more. So what's the reason to have that quality of inability. What's the reason for being lazy? Doesn't bring us anything. Neither in this world nor in the world hereafter. When we strive, we make a difference for ourselves and our families and our communities. When we strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we elevate ourselves spiritually. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, we, we sometimes see the manifestation of laziness when it comes to our prayers. You are watching TV. You know, Pakistan is playing the West Indies cricket and you can't leave that. So it is time for salah and you're putting it off and off and off. I'll pray later and then the time goes by. That's the manifestation of laziness, that you are procrastinating. You're engaged in some sort of entertainment. You're in the park, you're playing. 
having fun. And when it comes to your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is that missed time you do not connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Valuable days. Sometimes people wait until they become old. And when they become sick, and when they become poor, and then you see the concept or the quality of laziness being removed from them. Because this is the time that you want to really make dua and focus and ask Allah for help. You want some risk. You want health. You want strength. And so there is no laziness anymore. You spend time and you put effort to make sure that you turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Valuable days when you are healthy and strong and you're rich. Sometimes laziness creeps in. And you just are laid back. And so my dear brothers and my dear sisters, we need to utilize those valuable times in our lives to make a difference for ourselves and our families. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he removes from us the qualities of inability and laziness and that he shows us the way to always strive and to accomplish. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instilled within us the quality of those who will who always want to work to strive and to accomplish not only striving but you want to accomplish something and so we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to embed within us such beautiful wonderful qualities the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam always encouraged his companions to have. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter and that he saves us from the torment of hellfire. Aqulu kawli hadha wa astaghfirullaha li wa lakum wa li sa'iril mu'min min ayat min kulli dhamb fa astaghfiru innahu huwa al-ghafuru rahim Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Was salatu was salam wala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi was habihi ajma'in. Ridwanullahi alayhim ila yawmiddin. Amma ba'd. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, never ignore the opportunities that are being presented to you. Always make use of opportunities to do good. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, he said to his companions, ikhtanim khamsan qabla khams. 
make use of five before another five prevent you. And so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he zeroed, zeroed in into uh, five things that we see so often people, they, they procrastinate about it. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, make use of your youth before you become old. Make use of your wealth before you become poor. Make use of your health before you become sick. Make use of your time before you become occupied. And he said, make use of life before death overcomes you. The Prophet sallallahu said, نعمتان مغبون فيهما كثير من الناس الصحة والفراغ they are two bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it comes to these two bounties many are sure losers health and time but we do not value the health that Allah has given to us and we do not value the time that Allah has given to us. And when we do value it, it's too late. We have lost. How many sick people today wish that they had the same? They were healthy. How many at the time of death we, we do not know that's with them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But how many at the time of death Allah tells us in the Quran that people will ask, send me back. Return me and I will do better. So, so we know from the Quran that people will make such requests. So how many at the time of death or when they are nearing death are saying, give me a chance. Prolong my life. Give me more time. And I will do so and so. But when the time comes, no one can escape it. There will not be any type of, uh, you know, the angel does not have that authority to say, you have more time. It is your time. And so you will have to go, each and every one of us, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, be careful of these two bounties, your health and your time. When it comes to richness, wealth, we are all wealthy when we look at the other person who doesn't have as much as we have. And we have seen people very old and they perform sometimes better than people who are young. And that is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he talked about these two ni'mah, that when you miss them, you are certainly losers. I, I just saw a, a, a sister, 80 years old, went for Umrah, and she was more energetic and enthusiastic and motivating than many who were younger than her. So health, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, and that time, that period that Allah has given to us, 
It's very important. Let us not demonstrate the qualities of inability that we can't do well. We are, you know, this is what we are destined to do. Allah, he says, in Allah, Allah, you gayiru ma bi qawmin hatta you gayiru ma bi anfusihim. Allah will not change the condition of a people until non just until non they change that which is within themselves. So strive. I'malu strive, and Allah will recognize it. Allah will help us. Let us seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he sought refuge in Allah from inability to do well and from laziness. Laziness will only create that discomfort and unhappiness within ourselves and within our families and within our communities and there will be no progress we will be stagnated we will remain where we are and so if we want to have progress we want to move on we need to strive we need to always do things that will move us from one level to another we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forever bless us and that he guides us and that he protects us. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter and to save us from the torment of hellfire. لَقَدْ أَمَرْنَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْعَظِيمِ حَيْثُ قَالْ إِنَّ اللَّهُ وَمَلَائِكَتُهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِي يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى الله من خلفائه الأربعة أبي بكر وأمر وأثمان وعلي ونستة الباقين المبشرين بالجنة ونسائر الصحابة ونتابعين ومن تبعهم بسان لا يوم الدين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقامنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرت ولا هم إلا فرجت ولا هاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قديتها ولا مريضا إلا شفيت ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا دينا إلا قديت اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض وكم لكم تذكرون فذكر الله لا نعمه وشكره على آلائه ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تسنون أكم الصلاة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر